This is the Strength in Numbers project. The genesis of this project was that in May, I was going to run a 24 hour paint-a-thon. So that was going to be a large scale canvas. And I know these are big, but even bigger than these. A large scale canvas, and we were going to get people to come in in pairs for two hour painting slots and paint continuously for 24 hours to make a communal canvas that was going to hang in the hospital. And people were going to get sponsorship for their two hour segment of painting. And the money was going to be given to the Scottish Mental Health Arts Festival. The event was going to be part of the festival. It was going to be in the program and it was also going to raise money for the festival. And obviously COVID came and put paid to this in the way that it did with most <laughs> intriguing yeah. projects. And so I shelved the idea. I thought it was maybe something that I would come back to at a later date. And then there's a lovely lady, Claire Smiley, who runs a Facebook page called Craft Classes in the Scottish Borders. And she has been incredibly supportive of at Burke Hill House since we first began in October 2019. And Claire said to me, she wrote me a message saying, no, don't shelve the project. At least take the canvas that you have, which was really kindly funded by the Lauderdale Rotary Club because they were looking to support people to embrace new skills and be creative as a kind of outlet through lockdown. Uh, she said, take the canvas and cut it up into pieces and get it out to people. So I loved this idea. And I loved that in amongst all of the kind of confusion and despondency, there was this great vote of confidence for something positive. And so I really liked that. And I thought, right, I'll give a shout out. So I gave a shout out and I, I wasn't expecting that many people to come back to me, but we had 84 responses in the end. And the brief was really simple. It was what is something or someone that has given you strength throughout lockdown? And can you portray it on a one foot square piece of canvas using any medium you like? One of the um, suggestions that I made when I was handing out canvases to people was if we put a mark halfway along each canvas, if I could get you to incorporate some kind of line that goes along from the midpoint of each canvas, then that would be a kind of nod to this idea that we were flattening the curve and also acknowledging the fact that, you know, people's emotions were really up and down. And it would also be a way to kind of draw them together. It would be a, a motif that ran through all of the pieces together. And so most people did that, you know, and it's come across really nicely that they're all connected in this way.
That was Bristol-based Punk's Idols and a track called Grounds and I selected it because of its inclusion of the lyric. That's the sound of strength in numbers which in turn leads me to mention that amazing place that I visited recently where I met an extremely inspirational lady. Lara at Birkhill House is positively overflowing with great ideas. More about that later in the show 